Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new uh, facelift of Dacia Spring. This is the new Extreme package and it is the top spec with a new stronger electric motor with uh, its 48 kilowatts of power or 65 horsepower electric and it has the 25 kilowatt hour usable battery to give you around 220 kilometers of range by WVLTP or 300 in the city. It's slightly less uh, on my test but we're gonna check it out so without further ado let's just jump into the review here's the beautiful Dacia Spring Electric in Extreme package now this is stone washed blue metallic color it's a new color and it looks beautiful especially with this extreme copper contrast details and uh, before we dive into the car let me show you the key so uh, the camera would focus you can see the new logo there and <clears throat> excuse me uh, you have the unlock, a lock button and a physical key. Probably the only electric car with physical key. Uh, it is nice and a light. Uh, of course, you can see the keychain option there. And uh, it's nice and rubberized. So if you unlock the car, car is unlocked. But uh, you can see the turn signals. I left the LEDs running uh, because you have to turn on the car in order to show them. So uh, they're just on uh, in this case. Now, uh, key away. Let's... Check the car, it looks really gorgeous and beautiful. Um, I love it, it's really simpatical. A uh, little car, it looks cute. Now, uh, let's check the details. So you have this two creases on the bonnet, look beautiful. Uh, you have the LED data running lights. Uh, behind is one bulb, as you can see that on the top and at the bottom, uh, that's the turn signal. And then you have two halogen bulbs, main beam and a long beam. Now, not really sure why Dacia uh, decided not to use LED, for example. Uh, maybe they're slightly expensive, but they would be more power efficient. Uh, I don't know. Maybe something to improve in the next uh, generation. Uh, we have the beautiful metallic blue color. It looks really gorgeous, uh, in my personal opinion. And now, we have here plastic protection. Uh, there is like a little fender here and on the back of the car. Uh, for regulations. Uh, we also have this copper details with black plastic. There's a black plastic on the trim and there is a radar. I think I only saw two seconds distance. I'm not sure if it's for emergency braking. I think it is, but uh, no uh, cruise control in this car or a lane assist. So uh, that's only for that, but still add some safety. Uh, you can see copper details on the hubcaps on the stickers and uh, those side mirrors. It looks really stylish. Now, I love the new uh, grill in Dacia and you have the D and C. And now, the facelift has changed the opening. So this used to open like up top. Now it opens like a door this way. Uh, we have to open it from the inside. So we're gonna do that in a moment. And huge thanks to uh, Dacia for giving me the car for a review early. So, as I've mentioned, uh, this is the Extreme package. So it's ex exclusive for the new electric motor that's stronger. Before you had a 45 electric horsepower only, now you have 65, so a little bit more uh, faster, and you have the 25 kilowatt hour battery. So it gives you, uh, in my case, when I've charged the car to 100%, 205, so 205 kilometers of range. But this depends on your driving style. So you can squeeze uh, maybe 15 more and get to the WVLTP figures, which is 220. And in the city should be 300-ish, uh, give or take. So uh, gorgeous a little car. I gotta say, I really uh, love the whole uh, design. Now, uh, looking at the 14-inch uh, uh, steel wheels. So these are steel wheels and then you have the hubcaps. They do look nice 16570 R14 uh, Not sure what this tire brand is green max HP So I guess this is maybe made for EVs. It's a smaller tire uh, very narrow. You can see that um, But again uh, really good now. It's a really comfortable to drive but have in mind uh, the car is tall there's 15 centimeters of ground clearance. So it kind of leans and don't go too far fast in the bend, especially if it's rainy, uh, not to slip. So otherwise the car is excellent and very comfortable. 
Now you have uh, brakes on the front and drum brakes on the rear, good for uh, cost saving and uh, maintenance. Now you have that sticker here, extreme, you have it here as well. This looks like, like a topographic uh, picture of like hills or something like that. And I guess that's the theme. This is like a matte finish, so also very nice. And you have a turn signal in the mirror. Now there is no blind spot or uh, auto dimming. In this case, it is a budget car. You can see the VIN number there and you have one wiper. I wish they used that like aerodynamic blade instead of the classic one, but you can change that yourself. Uh, no cameras or anything on the top. Uh, this is better uh, view from the inside. There is no plastics blocking your traffic light uh, view there, but this car got only one star on Euro NCAP crash test because uh, they didn't prepare it in time and they've just changed the rules. They've added some stuff uh, for five star rating or four star at least uh, that this car didn't fill in because it was a little bit late. But also this car was made for uh, India market. So Hindis also have this, Hindu, uh, but with a different badge. I forgot the name and, and it's just it's the same car with a different badge. Uh, you can see the car now uh, on the sun. It's kind of cloudy. Uh, day so that's also interesting you can see the color has shifted now it's uh, slightly different so let me see on the sun here you can see the flakes just it looks really gorgeous uh, on the top you have this plastic roof racks this is also plastic with copper details look very nice uh, and stylish and you can see here uh, antenna there now if I back up just to see the profile of the car it is cute it is nice and tall and uh, no tinted windows on the rear but we have all this Black trim B pillars are this matte finish. Uh, physical cylinder on the driver's side, classical handles. Uh, you saw that there for regulations. And you can see drum brakes are good. They last more uh, and they're really good uh, because you don't have to change them as often as the disc brakes. On the front, this is a front wheel drive because the electric motor is on the front. Now, backing up here and it's a really gorgeous little EV. Now, uh, you have actually like a small spoiler tip towards the top there, and it looks nice. Uh, washer nozzle there, brake light, and you can see the wiper. Uh, also, left the lights on. You can see there's actually bulbs inside, but I like the new design turn signals. Uh, I think reverse lights. Uh, this is the fog light. And you have those cat eyes. Uh, on the back you have parking sensors, three of them. And you can see the spring electric. Also beautiful Dacia. Now in this extreme package you get it in this copper contrast. Otherwise on all models it's in white. This is not a sensor, it's a button to open the cargo space. And you have a one camera for backing and one warm light for the license plate. I gotta say I really like this license plate design and also like the fact that there's a gray contrasting plastic at the bottom so the, the car is really gorgeous you can see a little bit on the bottom how it looks so i guess that's the battery down there uh torsion beam so no multi-link on the back obviously but uh, be gentle on speed bumps slow down a little bit and look at this detail there's like a well there so another look at the car from this angle, it looks, looks really nice. Now press here, open up the cargo space. So let me just back up so you can see the whole cargo space. So there's 300 liters. And if you knock down the seats, it's like 620 if I'm not mistaken. So it is pretty plain on the top here, as you can see that. Uh, there is a shelf here. You can put a longer umbrella here. That's practical. You can raise these up and then you can press down here to lower them. I'm going to actually leave this up. It locks into position. And you can see here, there's a strap to unlock the bench. And there's one here. So the seat is connected. So it doesn't divide. So it's one piece. There are two top tether points there and there. And 
of course these can be removed so you can remove the top shelf if you want it can slide like this I guess and well let me show you the cargo space so inside you get the uh, you can see here Shuko uh, to type 2 this is your home uh, or travel charger there's a type 2 uh, charger for public AC charging stations there's a lifter here this is creation standard first aid emergency triangle spare bulbs fire extinguisher for company cars this is a press car so it's registered to a company and you get this carpet here now there is five and then maybe three fingers eight fingers of height to the loading area and you can see a spare tire same dimensions steel wheel so this is an option you can uh, not option it so have less weight and then you would probably get a little bit more range uh, this is pretty plain so you know it is a basic car uh, you can see here uh, there are no lights in here I'm not sure really why they save some money it looks like this is gluing off it is was hot yesterday so that might be the reason for that now let me show you the perspective here I'm a two meter tall person 6.6 in feet so this doesn't open too tall but it's a small car so it's it's tall enough now you have to use a little bit more force see it didn't close properly there so slightly more force now I will get inside on this end because I'm a tall person and I had to back up the seat so decent closing sound for the uh, budget car everything is hard plastic in here now you have these on the back but not on the front you can see that up there big handles of course everything is plastic uh, and over here you can pull to close there's no uh, storage area at the bottom and uh, the windows go down but it's not on uh, it goes almost all the way down electronic windows and well you can see the leather here uh, this is probably leather red like a vegan leather textile here and you have this copper stitching on the extreme package it's nice and tall almost flat uh, bottom but it's not let me jump inside so you can see I had to uh, go way back here and the reason for that is that the seat does not go up and down it only slides back and forward and you can tilt the top so let me show you here so this is me I'm a tall person and uh, okay feet room uh, th this seat is also back so you can see I'll be hitting uh, definitely the person on the front would feel my knees but if it's more forward I would be okay this is cloth and you have pocket here and then on the top it's kind of filled with uh, leatherette let's hear the closing sound so yeah it's kind of slightly resonating the car is shaking it's a really light car and sitting tall uh, if I straighten up my back you can see my neck there's no room I'm a taller person than the average let me just try to <laughs> get down so if I was an average person I would still be touching uh, but it's just the way the car is made now they did try to maximize the headspace here uh, but it's just the size of the car is small so that's it uh, front seats have these adjustable seat belts so that's nice unfortunately there's like uh, molding here they were like planning but they didn't add any uh, on the top and no hooks or whatsoever it's super hot inside so I'm just gonna get out and uh, get some uh, AC running on the front seat now let me just do a little comparison so uh, the width could be maybe better if you want to put a child seat but it's okay and you can push down here and then in that case uh, you lock from the inside for the kids cannot open now this is plastic and it's ouch a little bit must break my nail a little bit hard uh, the other one wasn't when I tried the other side okay I'm good don't worry um, now you can see the door handles now it's beeping because I left the car uh, the lights on position so I'm just gonna switch them off actually I'm gonna turn them on because I can so just to show you the 
front lights on before we get in. It's daylight, so you can't really see that much, but you can see it's uh, warm there. And yeah, switch that off. Let me just turn on the hazards just to wrap up the exterior. You can also see those and you can see those and you can see those. Okay. Now, uh, front doors open uh, wider, definitely. Now, regarding seals, they have a seal on the top and nothing inside the doors. They have one here, so you could potentially buy a seal and like stick it there to add a little bit more to the soundproof. Soundproof is okay at city speeds, but once you pass 100 kilometers per hour, it's, it gets noisy because it's taller, boxy shape. Now, hard plastic. Now this reminds me, I'm not sure if this is like Clio or something else, Twingo perhaps, uh, um, door frame, but it looks similar. Uh, it reminds me of one of the cars and you can close here. There's a little space here, all plastic. And underneath we have like a, uh, well, this is, it's like a plastic, no, it's a rubber trim. So this is a rubber trim and I like this pattern. Also, um, original floor mats, love the pattern there. The driver's side has this like things to hold it in place. The passenger doesn't on the front. And you can see here a tire pressure sticker. And this is, I don't know, some sort of number. I don't know what that is. But you can see they didn't use the plastic stickers. They used the paper stickers. And this gets uh, damaged by water. And eventually it'll just uh, peel off. So take a picture of this uh, if you have a uh, car. So if it like gets uh, peeled off. Now the front seats, you can see leather here and a bit bigger bolsters on the top. You have the Dacia uh, signature there, integrated headrest, but I gotta say, too basic. Uh, really not comfortable. I got some back pain. There's no lumbar support. This is push up for, to tilt and then push up this to slide it back and forward. There's no raising up and down, uh, but it's a basic uh, budget car. So that's the reason for that. Uh, this is a speaker. There is, a, I don't know, air vent or something like that. And yeah, definitely air vent for AC. Uh, two pedals, so it's a one-speed automatic. This is for your light height, but just keep it on zero. That's the tallest position. Uh, you can see the steering column does not have anything. It's fixed, so it doesn't go up and down inside or outside. It is what it is. And you can see here, you can adjust uh, the mirrors electronically. Uh, you can lock the rear windows. If you have kids, so it's a switch, you just press here, there's no light. And you can switch off the parking sensors or have them on. Um, view at the top there, very basic as well. So let's jump inside. Before we do that, look at this, manual handbrake. This is the only EV that I know that has a manual handbrake. It's not bad, but th this is like um, a little bit part old technology and new technology. It's like the car from the future, but if it was delivered in the past, I don't know. Um, let's hear the closing sound. Yeah, a bit uh, slightly noisy, but you know, again, budget car. Now I'm going to switch to wide lens so you can see the uh, interior. There's going to be point of view driving with no talking so the car will talk for itself now let me see where that i put the key it's possible that i placed it in the back pocket actually i accidentally locked the car by pressing the key so in that case this goes red but you're going to lock it from the inside or can't you you can't oh it's not good okay now let me put the key uh, in the key cylinder actually let me just come back here you can see that goes inside again only EV with a physical key that I know. I need some AC, it's super hot. And when you turn it on, you can see like the digital, like it's like a needle test, but it's not, it's just like a digital test there. Okay, so I have the AC on. 
and let me close this air circulation so it's gonna be faster sorry if it's a little bit noisy but I just need to cool down in summer temperatures now again this is the point of view when everything is on you can see the map here we get this message but it looks quite nice but I'm super tall so I'm sitting and my angle is like this I can see a little bit too much of the roof because the seat doesn't go down but it's 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 okay now um, steering wheel uh, this looks like leather it has a nice texture that looks like leather but it's actually plastic it has a flat bottom four spoke love the new Dacia signature now don't worry this trip computer is not flashing in person only on camera you have the voice commands uh, this is for the speed limiter there's no cruise control so there is a switch here this is the uh, speed limiter this might be like some sort of GPS function I really don't know I check what this button does so if this is on it shares data with uh, Dacia about your charging experience if you turn it off uh, then it doesn't that's it this is traction off uh, you can see there and traction on this is maybe just if you're stuck in the mud uh, and over here it's a 12 volt but it's a little bit flimsy look at this not sure what happened there it's a new car um, I'm gonna come back to the bottom uh, just to wrap it up on the top uh, so steering is really light and let me just switch these off for a moment I'll hear this you're gonna hear the electronic uh, there now AC back on uh, keep your lights on automatic yes it has automatic lights it's a nice feature there uh, I have the rear fog light and you have the uh, wiper there and with some rain on you can see how the wiper works now uh, again copper details here and here and this is a nice air vent look at the honeycomb pattern there it really looks nice so this is closed you can rotate that uh, have it the way uh, you want uh, there is a big speaker here and the rest of the dash is hard plastic there is a little bit piano black uh, there not too horrible and then uh, you can see that and now I wish they wish they used it uh, you know that aerodynamic wiper blade instead of this one you'd have more uh, better view maybe it looks prettier as well now you can see I think this is from Clio third excuse me fourth generation uh, infotainment I think they reuse that in the group so you have the AC vents on the top now they're uh, usually down so the screen is uh, on the top so your eyes are closer to the road and uh, we're gonna come back to this you can switch it off here you have time uh, there's volume options nice physical buttons there's a USB and uh, aux this USB charges your phone and it's also for Apple CarPlay uh, uh, on the bottom we have uh, front window controls uh, they're nice and fast let me show you the other one as the lowest position but you have to hold it it doesn't uh, you know it stops you have to hold it so it's not automatic unfortunately uh, you can lock the car from the inside uh, hazards you can see them in the dash you have the eco driving also on the front and this will maybe increase your range slightly and reduce your power this is a matte screen usually it's not a problem with glare except like if it's like a sun set and it's directly shooting to the screen um, on the bottom you can see manual uh, AC controls fan speed air direction and you can close the air circulation there AC on or off and front defrost uh, at the bottom I showed you that and then you have this uh, well it's a plasticky cubby there uh, a little piano black uh, this is the cable here I'm gonna demonstrate Apple CarPlay later and then this uh, car is in neutral you can put it to drive or reverse there's no park because you have this and there is some space here you can use uh, sorry this is my microphone cable now um, moving on we're gonna come back to the automatic uh, this falls down so you have to like hold it they could have added a little spring not sure why they didn't it shouldn't be that expensive and then uh, let me show you the price tag so Dacia Spring Extreme Electric 65 electric horsepower 25,700 euros is the base price 
but with few options there's the type 2 cable it's 200 euros uh, DC fast charging option apparently it's an option 575 euros and you have the uh, spare wheel um, 95 euros adds a little bit of weight and uh, shortens your range and you have the uh, stone wash blue metallic color 430 euros comes to 27,000 euros with included 25% value added tax in Croatia this is in Croatian Kuna's price uh, this was our currency before we switched to euro uh, in 2023 so in the first year it was still mandatory to show the Kuna price super unhappy about that uh, everything has become super expensive since then everyone used that transition currency transition to raise their margins uh, there is some sort of port there not sure that doesn't look like the OBD port but it is something but very deep uh, storage inside you can add a pen here a business card so there is a little room you get this Dacia manual uh, as well and that's it so yeah the price is a bit uh, pricey for such a small car it's inflation as well uh, but you can get the government incentives so you can lower the price a bit um, okay uh, to come back to the speedo now you can see here uh, it's a neutral you can see charging and uh, power meter when you're pressing the acceleration so eco and then power and uh, on the other side on the right side you can see the battery status you can see on the top neutral drive or reverse there's a little button here so if you press that you have a trip computer here so that changes and of course here you have the outside temperature you have the battery percentage and on the bottom is the range you can travel you can see it dropping because of the AC I might lower this fan speed now it's nice and cool inside and you can see the speedo now if you press here you can see the odometer it's a brand new car second person driving it this is the a trip now this is the a trip power consumption it's 13 kilowatts now the person before me told me that it was driving gently it was 10 kilowatts power consumption i was driving a little bit faster on the highway so I rounded up at 13 it's not bad and here's uh whoops uh this is the average speed i guess and b as trip so this is current consumption it says using one kilowatt sometimes it's zero even if the ac is on so that's good tire pressure press hold to reset uh, i guess you can hear now this doesn't turn i guess uh, turn on uh, like put a speed or winter tire warning something like that i'm not sure uh, there's a one wiper i accidentally turned it on so i guess it doesn't matter uh it's dry so that's how it looks uh, if you turn it on on the top we have a mirror a good overview uh, around the whole car you're a little bit taller if you're a taller person like me you can see the hood gives you a nice safety feeling good overview for the mirrors the b pillars are not too wide and well if you want to turn to check your blind spot this might be an issue if the seat is on the way back now uh, since there's no plastic here you have better view at the traffic light manual if you don't want someone blinding you behind you it's still gonna get blinded by the side mirrors though it's an SUV behind you uh, on the top you can see the airbag information also there is when you turn on the car uh, seat belt information there uh, you can have here you can see off and on it's a warm light uh, it, if it's in the middle then it turns on when the uh, doors are open you have an emergency call here there is a I think this might be temperature sensor I'm not sure if this is speaker or a speaker there's some openings here or a speaker for Bluetooth calls uh, you can put your documents here now I don't think this extends Oops, some leftover plastic uh, and you can see so this area is not covered doesn't extend at all uh, maybe something they could have added uh, in the future now uh, headspace is okay okay headspace on the front and well uh, what else uh, let's uh, uh, show the reverse camera so you can hear the parking sensors now it's a decent reverse camera but look at this I turn the wheel nothing happens on the screen 
And well, let me just release the handbrake now. I'm gonna lower the window. You might hear the, let me switch off the AC. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it's like a sound. You just flip this like that, let it drive. So there's this Bedrestium warning system, but it's on only up to 30 kilometers per hour. Now you can hear the brakes. Now the regenerative braking is uh, by default and it's not really strong. So I'm gonna put the AC on. Um, yeah, now let's turn this on. So uh, over here you have a uh, nice infotainment uh, considering the car, you have the navigation, there's a home screen, you have radio. Uh, so let's play some music. Again, I'm gonna switch this off. So the speakers are actually quite good considering they're really good considering a budget car. I'm really, I was really pleased, pleasantly surprised. There's a list here uh, for the radio stations, presets, options, uh, and over here you have FM, DAB, uh, and so on. You have the media if you use the USB, you have phone connection, I haven't connected. Uh, navigation here, you have the address, find the map, route, options. In my night point of view driving where I summon the review impressions of the car, I'm going to use that so you can see that. How it works uh, you can see here map updates um, and here is the actual map let's pinch the zoom actually you know it's okay fairly okay and here have a shortcut for the radio and then if you're on radio I think there's a shortcut back for the maps now over here you can press you can have top view or you can have 3d view you can mute the navigation voice command uh, or like voice like turn turning where you need to turn and yeah over here you can switch to dark mode so this is map is in day mode and there's a uh, there's a dark mode but uh, it, it has a sensor I believe it's maybe this because I didn't saw anything on the top around the mirror it has a light sensor so it switches uh, because it has automatic uh, lights and yeah, I think uh, for the most part that is it. Just to show the settings here, you have the volume speed, balance feeder, so you can adjust where you want the sound. Uh, when you adjust something, you need to press OK on the other one. And display options like medium, low, set night. So, ah, there's a night, I guess, day automatic. Uh, let me see here, night, if I go to the, uh, yeah, you can see that is now dark. So if you, if, you, if you prefer that, you can have that um, like that. And you can turn off the rear view camera here. Connectivity, uh, you can have Bluetooth, uh, languages, factory si reset system version. So that's the current software version there. I like to keep it on the map. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's everything. Putting this in, you can see that I've plugged the cable, so uh, I have the Apple CarPlay, you can press here, uh, brings you to the Apple CarPlay. Now I'm recording, so it might be a little bit laggy, but without camera on, it is nice and fast. You can see, you can use your uh, charging apps there, and press here to go back to Dacia. So you can see here I have media, phone, and Apple CarPlay uh, shortcuts. Uh, so that's how it looks and the screen is not that bad as well on this side there's a switch for the front airbag if you have a child seat on the front although I don't think there is no isofix points here there are I forgot to show you on the back there and that's it you can see the front driver uh, carpet moves a little bit there's no things to hold it in place but the car is generally speaking uh, very nice, actually, very comfortable. Just, you know, be, uh, you know, um, cautious in the bends, don't go too far uh, or don't go too fast. So the car, I've left it in neutral. You have to 
uh, raise the handbrake. Keep forgetting that. Uh, yeah, and well, let's get out and show you the charge port here and then at the front as well bonnet yeah I forgot to tell you but you can see there's a front washer nozzle there yeah this is definitely the a light sensor there so that's for the automatic beam now let's check the charging port as I've mentioned they've switched to uh, this instead of going up I think that was more practical because this was not in the way if you have the cable uh, from the uh, right side of the vehicle but it is what it is there's no lights this is AC charging and it's up to 6.6 .6 kilowatts and then if you combine the DC it's 34 kilowatts max so I was charging the other night on DC from 40% slightly less 200 and it took about 45 minutes now to open the bonus here you in the middle you can raise this with the fingers uh, it's slightly off the center to the right push it to the left you can see that you have to use the little leg there if you want to keep it open uh, and voila there it is uh, they actually <laughs> added this insulation here for some reason now uh, that's your washer fluid reservoir uh, you can see the 12 volt battery that's not your main battery it's just a 12 volt and here's the electric motor uh, and here is the fuse box, that is the uh, oil for the uh, brake fluid or brake oil and you can see you can actually see through at the bottom. Um, I think they could have added a little frunk cubby here that could be easily removed and you can store cables maybe here and have more space on the back but for some reason they decided to not do that, probably cost saving. So uh, there's a clear symbol here not to wash or not to pressure wash. Uh, one here as well so uh, you can use like a little cloth but uh, don't touch the orange high voltage cables let it drop closes perfectly and that was it that was the uh, little Dacia spring it looks like a small SUV not really it's like a compact urban vehicle CUV but uh, it's gorgeous and I'm quite surprised. I had some prejudices about this car because it's super cheap, but it actually isn't that bad. So everyone, thank you for watching. Staying to the end, uh, give this video a like, helps me a lot with the algorithm. Also leave a comment below. How do you like the new spring in extreme package? Share this video on Dacia forums and uh, all the other EV forums. If you like this kind of type of reviews, I do a lot of car reviews. Do subscribe, help me to reach 100,000 subscribers and getting close there. I think I'm missing like 8,000 subscribers. So that would be uh, very much appreciated if you subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I upload more reviews like this. Uh, happy charging for all you EV owners and hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.